Ready to make your portrait photography more interesting? Let me show you how. What's up everyone, my name is Sal Sincata. Today, we got a really cool set up for you here in a studio space that we are renting out. We are gonna take, it's a beautiful portrait. If we shot it just the way it is, it's gonna look amazing, but I'm gonna show you other ways to kind of jazz it up, church it up, if you will. So let's get to it, follow me. We have got Lauren Smiles on set. And so we've got this kind of like 70s vibe, 60s vibe going on. We've got it lit with, I'll show you here, we've got two Nanlite Pavo tubes set to daylight bounce. And then we're throwing in a little bit of uh, blue for an edge light on her. And then we're leaving the lamps at tungsten. So they're gonna show up orange in the frame. It's gonna be a beautiful killer shot, but how can we make it more interesting? So first let's just start with the base shot. So let's get this, love this whole theme. So on camera, I'm shooting with the Canon R5 and the 2870 F2 lens, just to give me the most versatility for these. I am gonna shoot at F2. I love the shallow depth of field here. Stunning. Oh, I like that. No, no, kick the knee up, like knees down. But like, can you kick it up where it's like you're on your knee and it's like that? Yeah, I'm sure that's what most people do in the 60s when they're on a phone call. All right, can't let you get up that high because of lighting, so I don't have any light on you. That's fine, I could deal with that. Yes, yes, arch your back. Here we go, stay there. Beautiful chin falling towards me a little bit, perfect. Okay, so I got some killer shots. How do we make this a little bit more interesting? So the way I like to attack my portraits, if you will, is to take the base shot, get that base shot out of the way, and then shoot through something, right? Add a little bit more element blur to the frame. I call it eye candy. I love doing that to the front of the frame. So I'm in an environment now. I don't know what I have. I didn't bring something to shoot through, so, but I do have some bubble wrap. Let's try that. Who doesn't want to pop? You want to pop? You should pop some. That's a good one. It's the point of having bubble wrap. You can't pop it. All right, so now what you can do here is take that same frame up, and now what I'm doing is I'm putting this in front of the lens. Oh, that's killer, Lauren. Stay there. Love it. Eyes of camera. Love that, love that. Now with that, oops, inadvertent bubble pop. All right, now what I can do here to make this even more interesting is just kind of wrap this around the entire lens. And it creates this kind of like, film photographers will know this. Back in the day, if you wanted to get that like blur around the lens, you would use Vaseline, believe it or not. They would do that back in the day. So this is kind of fun right there, Lauren, looking at me. Stay there with it. So I'm just kind of wrapping this around. I, again, this is, you're just experimenting. You're having fun. There's no right or wrong thing to do. Photography is art. You should be having fun with it. Yes, love that. Eye contact, perfect. Okay, so that's one thing we can do to kind of church things up. One of the things to understand what I mean by eye candy is you can shoot through things, you can put things in front of the lens, but it's basically something in the foreground to create more visually appealing shots. So you can experiment with that. Again, there's no right or wrong thing. I could shoot even with it laying here, or I could shoot through flowers. Sometimes I'll take a leaf and just put that in front of the lens. So you can do that stuff. But the next thing we can do is perspective to make your portraits more interesting, right? So if I'm shooting down on someone, that's going to minimize them, make them look weak. If I'm shooting up on someone that's more of a hero pose and a heroic shot, strong shot for them. Lauren, with that, right, she's been sitting down on the ground. It's very feminine. It's it's minimizing. Now I want her to be a little bit more powerful. So I'm gonna have you stand up, Lauren, and I'm probably gonna have you have that phone. And I'm thinking something a little bit more stronger now where you're standing up and you've got the phone like this and it's more powerful like this. So let's see what that's gonna look like. So let me move you over here. What I want you to do is pull your dress down all the way. Now, what you're seeing is immediately, this is a much more powerful shot of her. So just from moving her from the ground and shooting up at her, it's so much more powerful. Oh, Lauren, you're gonna love this. Here we go. Go cock that head again. Yeah, chin out, right there, right there, right there. Good eye contact. Yeah, you're so annoyed by this phone call. Good job. So now you can see the angle I'm choosing of shooting up at her and her being standing up. It's this more heroic, stronger shot. So when she was laying down, you gotta admit, much more feminine, softer shot. Her standing now is a more stronger female shot. So you're making the choice as the photographer what to do. Now the last thing you can do to enhance your portraits is add lighting for depth. Now you've already seen the final shot because I've already added that lighting. But let me give you a sense of what I'm talking about here. The first shot we're gonna take would just be if I used one light. So let's take that. So you can see this on video. I'm not saying that's not a good shot. It's a great shot, but how do we make it better? And so it tends to be that's a little bit flat. So what I'd wanna do now is bring in another light source. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna add Add a little bit of color. So I want to add purple, you know, pick a color that makes sense. So orange, blue, orange, teal kind of makes sense. The purple's working for me. So I'm going to stick with it. And this is just going to be for an edge light. I'm going to turn
turn this up. And I'm just gonna kind of put this over here and this is gonna create a little bit more depth, which you should be seeing on her. So now I've got like a bluish purplish light on her in that same pose and it's fun. It matches the environment. It makes it more interesting by adding different lighting to it. So let's take this and I can immediately see on my camera the difference in these two shots. So even if I'm looking at it, I can now see all this purple in the shadows and in the rafters and in the floor and on the edge of her. It makes the portrait much more interesting. So now I'm gonna add one last light here to kind of create an edge light on her. And I'm just gonna put this over here and that's now gonna give me a little bit more edge light on her here. I could add another light, added color to it. You're the artist, you're the creative. This is what you wanna do. So now let's get this final shot and you've seen all three of me building. Mix it up, give me a different pose here. Yes, love that. Can you be on that toe? I like you rocking forward, so go back a little bit more and then come forward into that pose. Love that, arch the back, good. What if you're looking off this way? Yep, love that. Let's see what this is looking like. So much fun, here we go. Eye contact, Lauren. Yep, right there. Can you kick that right foot across a little bit? Yep, it's beautiful. Big smile, big giggle. Love that, good job, Lauren. One more time, good, all right. All right, so that's a wrap. Hopefully those three tips give you ideas, incentives, gets your mind thinking on how to make your portraits a little bit more creative than just what you take vanilla out of the box. You'll be on your way to being a better photographer. We'll see you in the next video.